Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Now, with the recent death of Queen Elizabeth II, a lot of my students have been asking me, how do we talk about death and dying in English? And what do we say when somebody has died? So in this short video, you're going to learn some expressions that you can use um, to help you to talk about this topic. If you do find the video helpful, please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Let's get started. We're going to start by looking at what to say when someone dies. Then we'll look at some general vocabulary around the subject. And then finally, we'll have some colloquial expressions. So it's not all serious. We'll have a bit of fun towards the end of the video. What to say when someone dies. I'm so sorry for your loss. My sincere condolences. You have my deepest sympathy. I'm thinking of you or thinking of you. My thoughts are with you at this difficult time. You're in my thoughts. I was sorry to hear about your friend or your mum, your dad or a name. Is there anything I can do? Now, vocabulary. So the verb to die. He died peacefully in his sleep. She died of old age. Death, so this is the noun. The only two certainties in life are death and taxes. This is an old saying, an old expression. I'm not sure where it comes from originally. I think maybe Benjamin Franklin. And then we've got dead. This is an adjective and a noun. I saw a dead animal by the side of the road. So here it is an adjective. People place flowers on the graves of their dead. So here we've got dead used as a noun, meaning dead people. To pass or pass away or pass on. She passed away yesterday. Passing is the noun. I was sorry to hear of his passing. So this is actually is another thing you can say to somebody if someone has died and you want to express that you are sorry. To grieve. This means to feel great sorrow, often as a result of someone's death. She's grieving for her grandmother. So you can see the structure here. We grieve for somebody who has died. And grief is the noun. We have seen many public demonstrations of grief. Now, you can think of grief as sorrow or sadness. To mourn. This is to feel or show sorrow for someone's death, often by wearing black. We're mourning the loss of the queen. To be in mourning. This is a typical expression. Here, mourning is the noun. The country is in mourning. Now, people often confuse this with mourning as in the earlier part of the day. Um, but as you can see, it's spelled differently. We've got M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. But the pronunciation is exactly the same. I am in mourning this morning. A period of national mourning for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II will continue until the end of the day of the state funeral. So that is this coming Monday. So that will be the last day of national mourning for the Queen. Deceased. 
This is an adjective and a noun, and it means recently dead. So you wouldn't use this to talk about someone that had been dead for many years. You can only use this if the death is recent. She wore her deceased mother's jewellery. Have the deceased's next of kin been informed? So in this case, deceased is used as a noun, the deceased. It means the dead person, the person who has died. And I just want to draw your attention here to this phrase, next of kin. This means closest living relatives. Late. So this is an adjective, and I'm sure you already know the typical meaning of late, which is the opposite of early or not on time. But late can also be used to mean dead or deceased. My late father used to live here. There will be a service in commemoration of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Now the colloquial expressions. Now, I'm sure you know, but I'm going to say it anyway. These are not appropriate when someone is grieving. So you would never use these expressions if you were in a serious situation. But we use them to talk about death in a not serious way. So kick the bucket. As you can see from the picture, the phrase, if taken literally, means to kick a bucket. And I'm not sure where this comes from and why it means to die. But there you go. And we also have bucket list, which I think comes from this, which is a list of things to do before you die. There's a film, actually, I think it's with Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman called The Bucket List. Um, yeah, good film. By the farm. This is an American, this expression, to buy the farm. And it's often shortened to he bought it, he died. So another strange one. <laughs> shuffle off this mortal coil. Now, this is interesting. To shuffle is to walk without picking up your feet properly, to drag your feet. And mortal coil, that is the struggles or the difficulties of daily life. And this actually comes from the to be or not to be soliloquy in Shakespeare's Hamlet. To snuff it. So you can see in the picture, the person is snuffing out a candle. So that is where this phrase comes from. To snuff out a candle is to extinguish it. And so if you snuff it, you die croak. Again, another strange one. To croak, that is the sound that a frog makes. But we use it to mean to die. Fall off your perch. So again, you can see from the picture, the bird has fallen off its perch. And yeah, this one makes sense. If you fall off your perch, you die. Pop your clogs. Another strange one. Um, you can see the picture here. This type of shoe is called a clog. Um, no idea where this expression comes from. I did try to find the origin on the internet, but I had no joy. And finally, to meet your maker. So again, this means to die. Um, there are many things I'd like to do before I meet my maker. And you can see from the picture that by your maker, we mean God or the creator. For more vocabulary videos, as well as grammar and exam practice, then take a look at my channel. And if you do like the content, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. See you in the next video.